Alliance Energy Production is under provincial jurisdiction, and the members should know that full well. No. The cost of government is driving up the cost of living. Almost a half a trillion dollars of inflationist liberal deficits mean more dollars chasing fewer goods, driving higher prices. But the Prime Minister says he doesn't think much about monetary policy. Clearly. Uh, that's no surprise. After all, it's just inflation. <laughs> Given that housing and gas prices are up by a third, has he had time since he got off the surfboard to think a little bit more about monetary policy? <laughs> I just want to remind the honourable members, I know we've been gone for a while and we're back, but when we're talking in the House, we can't mention someone's name uh, in the House. We refer to them as their title or by their, uh, their, uh, their writing. I just wanted to make that clear in case all of you forgot. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, uh, while the Conservatives play silly partisan games, we are focused on Canadians. Uh, we know uh, that what Canadians are facing is a serious situation, and that is why we have taken real action. First of all, in disagreement with the Conservatives, we invested to support Canadians through the pandemic. It wasn't just the right solution for the health crisis, it was also the right solution to make sure our economy would come roaring back. And that's why we're moving forward on investments like child care and housing to make sure that we're, we're helping Canadians through this affordability challenge as well. Here, here. The Honourable Member for Carleton. Well, every time he creates a new program, the cost of the said object goes up. For example, he spent $70 billion on affordable housing to make housing prices go up by almost $300,000. Wow. And many members of this House were not even born when Liberals first started to promising to make daycare affordable. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, when will he realize that more dollars chasing fewer goods means higher prices, and that the more he spends, the higher the cost? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the member for Carleton and indeed the Conservative approach on the economy is well known by Canadians, and that's why it was so... It was I just want to make sure we're okay to continue. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, they were soundly rejected three times in a row by Canadians. Uh, our focus has been on growing the middle class and supporting uh, hard-working Canadians throughout. That's exactly what we've been doing. But we put forward a plan for $10 a day child care that's been accepted by a number of Conservative Premiers across the country. The Federal Conservatives promised to rip it up. As we choose to move forward on investing in housing, they want to give tax breaks to landlords to sell their buildings. That was the wrong approach, Mr. Speaker. This is the right one. The Honourable Member for Carleton. He likes to blame his inflation on something that's happening in a faraway place around the world. Why is it then that Canadian consumers are paying higher rates of inflation than Saudi Arabia, Switzerland, Singapore, India, China, Japan, Germany, Italy, France, the UK, the Eurozone, in fact every country except the money-printing mammoth south of the border has lower inflation than us. Why doesn't he take responsibility for the higher cost of living that his out-of-control spending is piling on the backs of Canadians? I, I am impressed to see the high esteem in which the member from Carleton seems to hold me that I was able to create a global inflation crisis with our initiatives to support Canadians through this pandemic. Because that's exactly what he is saying. Everywhere in the world they are seeing record high inflation and here in Canada uh, we continue to invest in ways to support them with world class child care investments, with housing, with investments in reconciliation in fighting climate change and building a better future while they choose to hide their heads in the sand. Honourable Member for Carleton. Well, 
que le premier ministre a manqué les... I think the Prime Minister got the facts wrong. Other countries have lower inflation than here. France, Italy, Germany, Japan, the UK all have lower inflation rates, much lower than Canada. Only the US, which is spending money like crazy, has a higher inflation rate. And he knows that. We know that the Prime Minister doesn't think about monetary policy because it's just inflation. But he should think, is he thinking about the real costs he's putting on Canadians' shoulders? Once again, I would remind members, perhaps it wasn't understood when I said in English, so I'll say it in French, when you're in the House, you refer to other members by their riding or by their title. I think that's clear now. I've said it in both languages.